Look what came in the mail today. It's the June Keto Craze. And an early happy Father's Day for Joe. Right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you can find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So we have our June Keto Crate here. What do you got over there? There's a cat. Oh, there's a cat. She's decided she needs some lovin's right now. It can't wait. Right now. So we got our June Keto Crate, and it's just in time for two things. Father's Day is this month. Do you think that it'll be meatier? I'm this hoping month? so because I like meat sticks. There's usually a meat stick, but I'm wondering if they won't like bacon it up this month. I hope so. In addition, it's hurricane season. So maybe there's some good stock up snacks in here. I feel like we've been living through an entire year of hurricane season. So if you don't know what a Keto Crate is, Keto Crate is a monthly subscription box. It's got like eight to 12 different snacks in here. And we like it because we like to try different things, see what's new on the market. Not break the bank. It also helps that you can try just one. So a lot of the Keto products, you have to buy like a box of eight, 10 or 12. Here you get one and you can decide, hey, do I like it? And you can order more if you're interested in it. I'm not a risky girl. I know. I know that there's at least gonna be something that I like in here. And then if there's something that I'm really surprised by, then I'm going to go back and buy more of it. You are a little bit of a risky girl though. Oh, I married you. That's my point. That was it. That, I spent, you took a big risk. I spent all me. of my risk in that one area. Okay. So if you're interested in the keto crate, there's a link down below. You can use that. Uh, there's also a coupon code. It's two crazy ketos. That'll get you 10% off. If you do use that link, it does help support the channel. We greatly appreciate that. We sure do. And also at the end of this video, we're going to give away one of these. So make sure you watch all the way to the end of the video. That is good news. I like that. Yep. So the way we're going to do this is we go over each product. We tell you what the ingredients are. How much it is. How much it is. And then what the nutrition facts are. Like, you know, how much protein, fat, that kind of stuff. How much it is is my favorite. Okay. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll put this over there. Oh, look at the little picnic on the front. I like the fact that it comes with this little card. It's got like somebody's success story on the back, some see, recipes. There's, yeah, there's recipes usually. Uh, some little like keto tips, different things like that. Ooh, look, pretty piggy chocolate pie. I'm a pretty piggy, aren't <laughs> I? Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. You go first. Okay. First up is Pazoots. Pazoots. These are peanuts, but they are Wilds. Now this is a different flavor, sea salt and vinegar. But we've had we've had some of different flavors before. They infuse the peanut instead of it being like the flavor on the outside. Yeah, it's some really kind of awesome. mad science, but it's really good. Yeah, I don't I don't need to know all of the all the science behind it. <laughs> so uh, in this package, um, let's see, a serving size is one ounce. There's 1.45 servings in this container. Hmm. Just tell me it's one serving or two or two. I can handle. I prefer two. one. Yeah, I prefer one. But 140 calories. Uh, per serving, 12 grams of fat, seven grams of protein, five total carbohydrates, two dietary fiber, and let me tell you what's in it, peanuts, sea salt, apple cider vinegar, and water. Ooh, that sounds good. Yeah. Okay, so let me get, I got all the prices up here behind us, so we can let you know how much it costs. Kosher, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, lactose-free, non-GMO. Price on those are $3. Now, one thing about the prices, Keto Crate gives us a thing that has how much each thing costs, but a lot of times you can find it cheaper if you go to Amazon or directly to their website. There's also coupon codes when you get the Keto Crate. So for example, this came with a 20% off coupon code. That would be worth trying. Right? Yep. What is this? Ooh. Simply Delish Vanilla Instant Pudding. It's like J-E-L-L-O. Sugar free. 25 calories. I'm really interested because we love Jello. Yeah. And I have always liked pudding, but I've never found a keto friendly pudding. I've missed pudding, to be honest. Okay, ready? Yeah. So there is four servings in this package because obviously you have to make it. A serving is as packaged 25 calories. When you prepare it, 70 calories. Okay, thanks for saying that. 
Um, zero grams of fat package, zero grams of fat when you prepare it. They actually say 0.1 gram, so 0%. Um, it has zero grams of protein, 10 total carbohydrates. Per serving? Yes. 1.7 grams of dietary fiber. Okay. And four grams of sugar alcohol. Wow. Which is making it, what, 4.3 net carbs per serving. It's kind of hefty. It's a little hefty for what would be a half a cup of pudding. Let's yeah. see. What's I'm in it? I'm looking for the ingredients. 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 Starch, which is made from potatoes. Okay. Okay. We... we, we, we <laughs> Depends on what kind. It could be Keep a good going. resistant starch. So erythritol, dextrin, emulsifiers, natural flavors, which is vanilla, stevia extract, salt, natural colors, which is caramel. Um, I feel like the search for pudding continues. Yeah, I'm not super. I mean, the ingredients aren't bad, but they're not awesome. I'm not super interested in this. But the kiddos may like it. They definitely may like it. You're making it with uh, one sachet into two cups of milk. Or one and a quarter cups of milk substitute, almond, soy, coconut milk. So if you make this with milk, your carbs are going up even more. Because the 10 total carbs is just this. The, the powder. Just the powder. Ooh. So I don't think I'm very interested in that anymore. Yeah. But I will tell you how much they cost. How much does it cost? It's $2.99 a box. Now, they also have a That's jello. actually very reasonable that's pretty good because we recently bought some jello even though jello's got melted dextrin in it we just really wanted jello we wanted sugar-free jello and, and it was like 250 a box it was 250 a box but they do have a gelatin but i don't is it in the box this is just being advertised no just we got the jello I, some people from me have gotten the jello we, we got, got the, the pudding. pudding we got the pudding so but not bad but i'm not really interested in that so what do you got Shrewd foods. Shrewd foods. We like these. We love these guys. So this is um, protein puffs, brick oven pizza flavor. Usually they send out like sweet flavors, and I'm not a fan of the sweet flavors. No, I actually like their savory ones better. Mm -hmm. So a serving size is a bag. Thank you. One serving. I like it. Uh, 90 calories in a serving. Because remember, these are protein puffs. Right. So there's three grams of fat, 14 grams of protein, two total carbohydrates. And that's it. I like the two total carbohydrates. Me too. So in this is milk protein isolate, natural pizza seasoning, which is cheddar cheese powder, milk, salt, cultures, enzymes, salt, tomato powder, onion powder, sugar, garlic powder, natural flavors, spices, paprika extract for color, citric acid, and parsley. And then there's sunflower oil. So all of those ingredients, including the sugar, has to do with the seasoning. Yep. So it's pretty residual, honestly. Yep. Not bad. Not bad. I'm interested in trying these. Like I like anything pizza flavored. I know. Price on these two dollars and seventy nine cents. You're a you're a um, combos fan from way back. Oh yeah, I'm looking pizza for something flavor. good in here. What do we got that's good? <laughs> it's not gonna be good, but <laughs> maybe this. Where is one, Anthony? Maybe this will be better because it's already made. Yeah. Be less watered down. Zone Perfect. This is a ready to drink one. So if you're new to our channel, we got powdered ones in last month's box. Not so bueno. I, I believe it was the keto box. Wasn't very good. We should take a swig of this. So the ingredients in this are filtered water, coconut cream, milk protein concentrate, uh, structured lipid, uh, which is interest intensified canola. Ooh. Medium trade triglycerides. Then we have less than 1% of almond butter, calcium beta hydroxy beta methylbutate, butyrate, salt, natural flavors, monopotassium phosphate, sodium ascorbate, which is vitamin C for freshness, organic stevia, acacia gum, and galan gum. Okay, so, so 200 calories per container, 17 grams of fat, 10 grams of protein, three total carbohydrates, one gram of regular sugar. So that's probably from like the milk protein concentrate and stuff right. like that. So it's natural for me to want to compare this to keto chow immediately because it's a meal replacement. It's supposed to be a meal replacement, but it's only 200 calories, but it's got the fat in it. But I don't mind the fat in canola. it as a ready to drink. 
What I don't like is when you get these kind of meal replacements in a powdered form, like a keto chow thing, and then they're adding the fat. Well, and when they make that powdered fat, they have to bind it to something, and they're usually binding it to dextrose or maltodextrin. So at least here, they're not binding it to anything, but they're using canola oil, which I'm not interested in canola oil. Yeah. So anyway. How much is it? Price on that is $2.50 a shave. So this is pretty tiny. It's not got great oil in it, and it's $2.50. Well, that's what I was thinking. Like, it's, it's what is, how many ounces is that? 11. 11 ounces, $2.50. I can buy something like a keto chow, and there's even some other ones, but I know the price of keto chow is gonna cost me $3.50 for a full shake, and that's including my butter. Right. And it's gonna be like, four to 600 calories, depending on how I make it. I'm only getting 200 calories. That's not much of a meal replacement. That's like a snack for me. But this is a thing. Okay. So here we are. Here we go. <laughs> All right, Next my turn. Up. And I see. Meat. Meat. It's what's for dad's day. All right, so this is carne beef jerky. I gotta find that on here. It says zero sugar. Okay. Um, let's see, a serving is, there's two and a half servings in this. That, that seems pretty generous, actually. 90 calories per serving, two and a half grams of fat, 16 grams of protein, no carbs, okay. no fiber. The ingredients, brace yourself, beef, water, seasonings, which is sea, sea salt, spices, and garlic. Ooh, that I am super good. excited about is this. Is this beef jerky or is this? It does look like it, beef jerky. It, yeah. It's, it's thin, not biltong, it, but it's, it's just thin sliced slice. thin like biltong, but it does say beef jerky, but it is very high in protein as opposed to fat. Or bit long. I always say it wrong. Yeah. Okay. Price on this, $6.25. Not bad. Beef yeah. jerky is not cheap, especially when it's actual beef and not a bunch of fillers. Hecka good foods. These Hecka are bar. hecka good. These are keto bars. We've actually had these. For me, they're hit or miss. Some flavors are good. Some flavors, I don't taste anything. Right. Um, this is a new flavor. We haven't tried this one. We may have to try this one. White, White chocolate, chocolate raspberry. raspberry. Sounds good. Okay, so the ingredients in this are almonds, allulose, soluble tapioca fiber. That's big. They're tiny. Yeah, tiny they're very rating. small. Whey protein isolate, and it's under the fold. Oh, good. Cocoa butter, erythritol, natural flavors, dried raspberry, sunflower lecithin, raspberry juice concentrate, uh, sea salt and contains almonds and milk. They do have good clean ingredients. They do. Um, so the servings on this is one bar, 210 calories, 15 grams of fat, 10 grams of protein, 24 total carbohydrates, uh, six grams of dietary fiber, three grams of sugar alcohol, and then they use allulose, and the amount of allulose is and went over there. It took me a long time to find this once. It's really tiny. Great day. Three grams of erythritol and 13 grams of allulose. So what it is, it's high in sweetener, but it's not high in fiber. So I don't mind. I like the fact that it's not high in fiber, which is something I always worry about with these bars where they use the fiber for the sweetener. They're not yeah. doing that. It is high in total carbs for me. Like it's, that's like right every total carb that I would eat at the day. So that's one of the reasons I really don't eat these. Nothing wrong with them. I just choose not to. Mm -hmm. Price on the heck of bars, $3.25 a bar. But if you go to their website, they always have a coupon code, especially if you're a first time buyer. Something that the kids can use for Father's Day breakfast. What is that? Pancake mix. Goodies. Goodies. She makes Goodies. some good products. Still sweet. Blueberry pancake low carb baking mix. Grain free, no sugar added, and gluten free. So let's see. She has both the package, the dry and as prepared, which we love. I love that. A serving size is 1 12th of the mix. It, it's about two pancakes, which mm -hmm. is reasonable amount. So uh, let's see, as prepared, it would be 130 calories per serving, nine grams of fat, four grams of protein, 13 total carbs, seven dietary fiber. So let's say they're saying it's two net carbs. Let's see, Is extra sugar or something I'm not seeing. The ingredients are organic. Allulose, she's oh, got okay. allulose in there. I see it. Organic coconut flour, soluble tapioca fiber, allulose, freeze-dried blueberries, corn-free baking powder, which is sodium acid, pyrophosphate, sodium bicarbonate, tapioca starch, 
calcium phosphate, and then there's salt. Okay, mm -hmm. sounds good. Now, as prepared, it says it's going to contain eggs and tree nuts or coconut. Does it say how much allulose is each one? It just doesn't say that. Does just it? says that there's two, no sugar, alcohol, sweetened with allulose. Two net carbs per serving, which would be two pancakes. Right, but it doesn't tell us how many. Oh, there it is, down on the bottom. Oh, I'm sorry. Four grams of allulose per serving, so not too bad. Not she terrible. makes great products. Yeah, I, I love all her products. Price on this. $11.99 a bag. You're up, sir. The cookie department. I am the chief. Keto. I'm the CEO of the- We've had this, haven't we? The manager of the cookie department. Birthday cake and sprinkles. Actually, I think Caleb is the manager of the cookie department. Yes. Wouldn't you say? I would agree. Okay, so the ingredients in this are almond flour, monk fruit sweetener, erythritol, monk fruit extract, um, the monk fruit sweetener, which is a blend of erythritol and monk fruit extract, Grass-fed, unsalted butter, whole eggs, prebiotic fiber, which is tapioca syrup, heavy cream powder, uh, contains cream powder. less than 2% of rosemary extract, sprinkles, uh, Arabic gum, spirulina extract, red cabbage extract, turmeric extract, radish extract, baking soda, xanthan gum, natural flavorings, and salt. It actually has good ingredients. It does. All those veggies are really for coloring the sprinkles, I would say. They're assume. for the sprinkles, yeah. So a serving size is one cookie. Heck yes it is. And that's a a big cookie. That's a respectable that's a, that's cookie. That's a big cookie. That's a Rachel size cookie. 230 calories per serving, 19 grams of fat, six grams of protein, 17 total carbohydrates, five grams of dietary fiber, which brings it down to 12 grams of carbohydrates, nine grams of sugar alcohol, bringing it to what, four net carbs? What are they saying? They say three net carbs. Am I adding up wrong? Probably. Probably. 17 minus, oh yeah. Okay, yeah, nine, no, nine, 14. Yep, three net carbs. Three net carbs per serving. Again, it does have prebiotic fiber in there. I probably wouldn't subtract all of that fiber. This is why for the most part we do total carbs. There is no math. You just look at it and you're like, okay, this is how much I get. Is yep. it 17? If I eat it, it's a treat. So I know we've had this before. I don't remember if we like the taste of it or not. I don't either. I don't remember. So price on that was $3.75 a cookie. For one cookie. For one cookie. So this is a great reason to have a keto crate if you want to try keto snacks because there is no chance. I'm not spending three seventy five. dollars Then I'm paying three seventy five dollars for a single cookie, but I'm really glad it's in there because now I will get to have it. Okay. Anything else? Last, but certainly no, not least. No, it's not. There's another product. I see it right here. Oh, I missed it. Sorry. Well, I'm going still with the Rome sticks. You know, I'm the dad. Isn't this the one that you and Anthony went nuts over? Yes. Okay, I gotta try this. And then we this. went to order them, and they were sold out. I wonder if they're still, probably definitely sold I'm out. I'm hoping they're not. Like, I will be Father's going Day on there time. tonight, because it was honestly the best meat stick I've ever had. Okay, now I'm definitely trying this. And I don't think it was this flavor either. So this flavor is, it's Singing Pastures, mm -hmm. Rome Sticks, Uncured Bacon says the ingredients are 100% pasture-raised pork, water, uncured bacon, which is pork belly and sea salt, as you well know. Yes. Sea salt, organic dextrose from tapioca used to initiate fermentation. I like that they have a qualifier there. Celery juice powder, organic black pepper, lactic acid starter culture, stuffed in a dye-free collagen casing. Mm-mm, just like mama used to make. No nitrates or nitrites added, except for those naturally occurring in sea salt and celery juice powder. Now there's, like most meat sticks, it doesn't have any information on the uh, No, but I did look on the website last and time and there's like no carbs in it. It's meat. It's I a mean, meat stick. It's, it's really, really good. Price on them are $2.29. Worth they it? Give you a tw yes, they give you a 20% <laughs> off coupon. And that's the average price of a good meat stick. We're not talking about like a Slim Jim. It's We're not, talking about good, healthy, quality meat sticks. It is not cheap for us to even use our dehydrator to make our own nope. meat stuff, to be honest. If you get really good cuts of meat. Last meat item, sticks. Gorilla Goods. It's Gorilla Good. We've actually had these before and they are really, really we good. We may not have had this particular flavor, but their their products in general are really good. So this is organic, raw, vegan, non-GMO, gluten-free, nutrient-dense, hillside, activated hillside, pumpkin seed, and kale. Ooh, my sister-in-law would love this. She loves kale. So price is, the ingredients are organic pumpkin seeds, organic kale, organic tamari, which is water, organic soybeans, 
salt and organic alcohol. Then we have organic onion, organic nutritional yeast, organic cayenne. Seeds are soaked and sprouted. Core temperature may, maintained below 118 degrees. Wow. M may contain shells, contain soy, made a facility which also processes tree nuts. Manufactured by Evolve Brands in Jackson. Okay, hmm. so nutrition facts. Serving size is one pack. Thank you. 210 calories, 17 grams of fat, 12 grams of protein, uh, six total carbohydrates, three grams of dietary fiber. And this is like one of those products that I would subtract the fiber and yes. say this is three nut carbs. This is just a bunch of nuts and seeds and the carbs are coming from your nuts and from, you know, having uh, kale and that kind of stuff. Not because it's candied. Right. Price on these are $2.09 per package. Very nice because there's some really nice ingredients in there. Okay, so we're gonna do a giveaway. We got a box to give yeah. away. So what all you need to do. Not an empty box. Not It'll an be empty full. box. You need to hit the like button on this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below. Yeah. Any comment you want. If you don't want to win and you want to leave a comment anyway, just put in there. Please give it away to somebody else. Okay. And then uh, you also have to live in the continental United States. Sorry. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's just what we have to do. Shipping. Uh, we're going to run the giveaway for one week. And we will announce the winner next week. I'll put the date right here along the bottom. I love it. Sound good? Mm -hmm. Want to try something? We always try something out of the keto crate. Do I want to try something? Yes. Really? You're leading with that. Got to lead with this. We got it. We have to at least take a step. I'm tell telling you right now I'm trying this because there's been so much talk in my house about this meat stick. I really wish Anthony was in here right now. This should taste better. This should be stronger. One of Anthony's things was I put two packages of the Zone Perfect. Preparation. And, and it didn't, it was weak. I'm almost afraid. Are you not, I'm shaking up again. I'm giving it its best shots. It's getting its best shots. Ooh, should I drink from the bottom like pork rinds? All right, here we go. Mmm. What? Not much better. I, I will say it's a little bit better than the powdered one, but not wow. much better. It tastes like they liquefied a Quest Bar. It's very chalky and it is uh, very watery. Yeah. I can't end on that. Though we are saving this and going to make Anthony drink that. It's got my lipstick on it now, so sorry, Ant. <laughs> I've got to try the meat stick. Okay. Is there? Wait, before you open that, Anything else we want to try? Because I kind of want to end on the meat stack. Right. Um, you want to try the new flavor of Hecka Bar? Uh, or the peanuts? Let's do the peanuts. Peanuts. We usually, usually only try one thing, but I, we've got to get rid Wash of that. that out of my mouth. Yeah. So it's, not a, it's more than one serving, but they don't give you a Ziploc bag to... I was going to say, I have to smell this. It Ooh. smells like peanuts. It doesn't have a, a huge it, vinegar feel, smell. No, I smell vinegar. I smell vinegar, just not overwhelming. What is amazing is There's there is nothing, nothing on, on the outside. It's on the inside. Mm -hmm. It's like a sour peanut, which probably sounds really gross, but it is not gross. Mm -hmm. That is really good. I don't know how you're doing it. How are you guys doing this? Pazoots? It actually says you Pazoots peanuts invented by a mad scientist, Dr. Alfred P. Pazoots, boy genius, aerospace engineer. Totally smooth on the outside. And peanut pioneer. Pazoots wow. peanuts are infused with natural flavors with zero artificial ingredients. So brilliant, it took a rocket scientist to come up with them. For more of his story, visit pazoots.com. These are worth checking out. If you are somebody too, I'm going to blow your mind. You ready for this? Uh-huh. Have you ever had the the wet peanuts? What are those? Are they're, they're not boiled peanuts. The boiled peanuts. They taste like boiled peanuts, right? Because but they're not soft. But they're not soft. Okay, ready? Here we go. Wow. I really don't want to share this. Really? They're really good. They're that good. They're really good. Okay. Those were really good. That's yours. What? And that's mine. That seems super stingy. 
All right. Still the best meat stick I've ever had. Wow. Wow. These remind me of the really good ones that we would get in the Amish country mm -hmm. that were really freshly made. Wow, that is. Was this the same flavor you had before? No, I don't believe so. Wow, this is good. Best meat stick. If you like meat sticks, you've got to get some of these. This wow. is the best meat stick I've ever had. Wow. Well, that's our video for today. Let us know down in the comment section which of these products you would like to try. <laughs> also, don't forget to leave a comment so that you can enter into the giveaway and then you can check out if you win next week. Wow. Please do us a favor, hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we taste something this good, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.